Let's show your mother how lovey-dovey we are. How lovey-dovey so she could be jealous of us. <laughs> show her, show her how we lovey dovey. Show her. Put your arms around me. On my back, boy, get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's be the five. MP in the cut, yeah, we get it live. Hey, Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. A fab MPY used to be. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Hot box, not the Pontiac, I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey. Big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to a hundred wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really did. I'm just trying to tell my L's to a hundred wins. What's up, guys? What is up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Hello. Hello. Um, still in this journey. Still on this damn journey. I think, you know what, is this a long journey? <laughs> this must be a long effing journey, for real. I think this is one of the longest journeys I've ever had. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to figure out when the hell I'm gonna get there. Because, girl, this journey of weight loss, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you wanna call it a journey anymore. Like, I don't know what you wanna call it. I'll just be tired of complaining. Tired of complaining to y'all. Tired of complaining to myself. You know what I mean? I just am tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of feeling like I'm forgotten. Okay? Like straight up. And I know y'all like, bitch, you were just talking about weight, but like it ain't even just that. It's like, you know how you like I don't when I do stuff for a person, I don't do it because I need recognition. I don't do it for you to be like, oh, thanks for doing it. I just do this shit from the bottom of my heart and because I care for you. But it just feels like um, when you care for somebody or somebody or people, why can't I have the same care for you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you ain't going to change the person, but I just be trying to figure out why some people just don't have the same care for you. Okay? Like, granted, like I said, I don't expect anybody to do anything for me. So if you're expecting people to do something for you, Honey, don't hold your breath. Don't ever expect people to cater to you and to do what you want them to do. You got to do that shit for yourself. But I just be wondering why I be feeling like I'm the only person that really care in any type of relationship. It could be a parent and child relationship. You know what I'm saying? It could be 
a friend relationship. It could be a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. I'm just trying to really figure out why does it feel like most of the time it's me that always cares, you know? And I'll just, and I'll go out of my way for people. And that's just, you know, I I was about to park right here because it was mad shade until I realized, yeah, girl, there's mad shade and ain't nobody park here because this is not a parking spot. This is the, the, um, yeah. But, um, I just be trying to figure that out. Like, why do I always feel like nobody don't go as hard as I go for them? They don't do the same for me. And that made me start feeling like, you know what? I'm going to not fuck with you. Or, you know what? I'm going to just I'm gonna just not care for the person like how they would care for me. That, and I don't and I don't like to feel that way about nothing. Look, I done parked massive, not far, but far enough. I done parked far enough from the gym. Not that far, but it probably going to take me like a minute to walk there. But I parked far enough because I found shade. And I parked right in front of the dance studio. And, um, well, they're not open now, but I don't really care if they is open. This ain't your parking spot. This is for the parking lot. But I just be feeling like people don't care for me the same way that I will care for them, and that I care for them. You know what I mean? Like, I go all out of my way to make anybody happy. And it's not even going all out of my way. That's just what I do. And I just don't understand why people don't do the same in return. Like, they, they like, do they ever stop and think, like, oh, she's been here for me since day one. She's always looking out. She's always thinking about me. She's always checking on me. Why don't people do the same in return? I, I really don't get it. I don't know. I, to me, everything is family. Family is everything. And it just don't feel like that for other family members and not my kids i'm not speaking upon my kids but i'm just speaking upon my other family members i don't get it like i don't know my my therapist said you can't change people you can't force them to do what you want them to do and that's their that's their personality you can either deal with it or just continue to live your life do you and stop reaching out all the time because she too said that the phone line does work both ways and it does. Like, the phone works both ways. I'm tired of calling y'all all the time and texting y'all all the time, checking up on y'all. Nobody, they don't do that for me. They don't. And yeah, we live on the opposite side of the country, but, you know, it's, it, it just bothers me a lot. And I'm really trying not to allow certain shit to bother me anymore. I'm really trying to be a bigger person, a better person, and a stronger person and not allow certain shit to bother me anymore. But it does, okay? And, and I would be lying if I said it doesn't, but it does. And um, I have made plans on reaching out and saying something about it. But part of me is like, for what? You've already done that. So why why continue to put yourself through this? Just leave it alone. And you have your kids here with you. Just leave it alone and do what you need to do. Anyway, I don't want to talk y'all ear off about my misfortunes and things like that. But I just thought that I would tell y'all. I'm going to take my ass in this gym. You guys, you guys, I done sweated out my my nice little laid edges. I done sweat them out, okay? Girl, when I tell you I was sweating on that damn elliptical, uh, not elliptical, excuse me, treadmill, I was sweating. Like, I'm like, oh my God, my lashes is gonna fall off. Because this is how much I was sweating, like it was dripping down my face. I had the little brown paper towels, you know, the brown rough ones. I had those, I didn't have enough, but I was not trying to get off, okay? sweating my ass off on that machine y'all I sweated it off and i had the incline up to four girl i don't never put the incline up but my friend tay told me that if you put the incline up more it'll give you you'll burn more calories and it'll make you sweat more she ain't never lie when she told me that shit yesterday y'all should have seen potato today she looks so cute um she had on it, it, it looked like a little tutu dress i'm gonna have to insert a picture but she had on her little tutu dress that she had got as a gift from her um, baby shower she looked so cute in it with her little bow on the side of her head she's so darn cute the uh her teachers at the daycare when i brought it in they was like oh my god look at her look at you potato so now they call her potato but the one was like when you gonna grow like you are so little and she is small because she's almost six months but she's small like she's chunky like she's she's got a little weight up she definitely got her weight up but she's short she's so short so like when i try to put her on like six months outfits girl they be all drooping her little nipples be showing like so she really can't wear too many of her six month clothes but y'all she is so short like the other babies in her class are like younger than her and two times her size like but she just short her father is short so i don't think 
I don't think pink, um, I don't think potato will have any luck with height. But she looks so cute in her little um, outfit. Yo, they grow so fast. Like, you know, even though she's short, she's chubby. And it, I swear to you guys, I swear, it feels like just yesterday. Like, no lie. It has been an amazing, amazing journey. And I'm so glad that I'm a part of her life. And I'm a part of this journey and helping her become the little lady that she's going to be. Okay? You know, I ain't the best lady in the world. But, I mean, you can learn a little bit from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. She is an amazing little baby. All babies are amazing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can't single one little baby out that ain't amazing. All babies are amazing. Because they're just so innocent and sweet and little. And, you know what I mean? Like, babies are just a blessing. That's how I feel about a baby. Babies are blessings from God. They just blessings. And they will they will either make you or break you. They will definitely change your life. Okay? They definitely will. They will definitely change your life. And I think like, you know what? She has changed my life for the better. She has definitely filled a void in my heart um, that I have, you know, been going through. And I still miss my son, but she has helped me get through a lot of that. So you know, babies are a blessing. to go get a new <clears throat> I took my fob to go get a new battery for it from the dealer and okay it worked great because it would tell me the key's not in the car um key not detected sometimes it wouldn't open it like yes the key's in the car because I'm driving it um then it just started doing that all over again and now mind you I only have one fob so if I lose it then I'm screwed right so when he had told me the last time I was there, it was like, I think I could have sworn he said it was like over, a little over $200. That's what I thought. When I went there today, I did tell him that, that it was acting up. He was like, you probably need to change the battery. Have you ever changed the battery? I'm like, no, I never changed it, but I came here in either December or January. So it should still be good. He's like, no, not necessarily because I've seen those keys, those batteries last for like, a few months and then for a couple of years and i'm like are you serious and he was like yeah he said it doesn't matter if you got it in december or january it could be a bad battery so i was like well i really do need to get another five because i only have one too and he was like they're really expensive and i'm like yeah you told me yo i thought he said 200 dollars. okay for the five it's 334 dollars and to program it to your car and then also cut the key because there is a little key right here. You know what I mean? It's altogether $500. I'm like, what? Huh? Like, oh my God, that's so, so $500 for a new one of these? I'm like, well, if, he's like, just try the battery out and see how it works. So that way you don't have to get a new fob. I'm like, well, if I get a new fob, do I need a new piece, a new key? He's like, no, you won't because the fob would be nothing. So you won't need it. But girl, if I wanted a backup key, I'd be screwed because who the hell want to pay $500 for a key? $500. I ain't never, never. This battery better work, okay? This battery better effing work. 
and at least it was free like you know you don't charge for the batteries at the dealership you know and that's great and all because listen five hundred dollars is a lot for a key and i'm not willing to give up five hundred dollars right now so this battery better work gotta go pick up tinky from the house he did with mumsy and um bring him to get his hair cut i'm gonna take him to get his hair cut and let me tell you, girl, let me tell you, I lost four pounds, okay? Just from using the treadmill and not eating past a certain time. Girl, oh, child, yes. I know it's only four pounds, but let me tell y'all, I did go up to 231 pounds. Like, out of nowhere, 200, I went to 231. So, yes, I'm happy, but I had to share that with y'all. Aren't they so cute? They are so freaking cute, the ducks. I love seeing them in the morning when I be um, leaving. You know, they're right here where I live at. And they are so damn pretty. They just be walking and minding their own duck business, okay? Minding the business that they have, okay? And the part that be beholding me, I'm going to just say that, is people that be driving through, like, first of all, it's 25 miles per hour. But don't be driving through here and beeping at the ducks or the geese, excuse me, the geese with an attitude because they walking slow. Like, where are we going to do that at? Like, I hate to see people do that. Be pissing me off. Like, they, they have a right to. I don't know. I just really do love animals. So I really do love animals. And I don't appreciate when people be mistreating them. Okay? I really, really don't like to see people mistreat animals. It really bothers me a lot. So, you know. So we got Tinky in the house. There's no baby in the car seat in case somebody's like, you can't put the car seat like that. There's no baby in it, okay? There's no baby in it. Then we're going for the haircut, honey. The haircut. The, the summer haircut. Mm -hmm. Make sure you clean all right here. You want to make sure this face is looking nice and crispy clean. Regardless if you washed it already, it's outside now. So, you know, kids eat breakfast, drink juice and stuff like that so and they will run out the door and be looking at a whole little mess so gotta make sure you know i keep the white yes it is good let's go in here you know what you guys i'm gonna just try to chill today i really am so i'm staying here in the car now tinky you know, went in to get his his haircut. I mean, he didn't go nowhere. He just went. I'm sitting here watching him, and he's in the garage. He got his. He got a nice little setup, though. I just wish he was at the barber shop still. And even though it's not even really that much of a distance, it's like three miles extra. But did he come outside the barber? Okay, now he's a big guy. He is a big guy. Big, big guy. Just a really big guy. He came out with a bright neon pink tank top. But it was a t-shirt with the Golden Girls on it. He cut it like, you know how the muscle shirt did he really? I said, okay, good morning. Somebody's got a little cute haircut. Where we at? McDonald's. Yep. We here at McDonald's getting Tiki some lunch. We was going to stay to eat, but I decided not to because I don't eat this. And I was going to eat it, but I would hurt my stomach. So anyway, we're going to just sit. And then we're going to wait for our food. Yes, she's ready. Woo! 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 Say hello.
not gonna hear me because I'm gonna have to put it on silence because you have this trap music and I won't be monetized. So now that it's off, and she turned that trap music off, because that's what it is. It's trap, crap. Trap, crap. She's so rude. That's why I'm like riding in her car. But she treats me so bad, you guys. She treats me bad. She tells me to be quiet. Don't touch the station. Excuse me. Yeah, I tear the roof up off this bitch, nigga. My bitch super cute. She give me a smooth. She make her live. All right, you guys, so I done dropped my daughter Tati off to work, dropped the baby off to daycare. It is now exactly nine o'clock. Took me a shower, put my lashes on, brushed my hair again. Now I'm at Walmart coming to get some toilet paper and dog food. And then I'm gonna go home and chill for a little while. Oh, what a morning, you guys, from putting air in the tires and to working out, to coming home, showering, oh, what's next? I'm going to say this. I hope my day turned out to be an easy one. While I'm in here, I'm going to look for a crib mobile. And I, oh, there's a lot of clearances in this Walmart. I haven't been in this Walmart in like a couple of weeks. Girl, I'm going to have to check these clearances out after I get what I'm supposed to. Because I was just about to veer off and take start, start looking. And I do need to get dog food. So let me not forget what I came in here for and some waters. So let me get to getting what I got to get. And... Um, yeah, I'll try to find this crib mobile. I wonder if they have any in here. If not, I'm going to have to look on Amazon. You got to have a crib mobile, right? I mean, you don't see people places selling those like they used to. I don't think those are like a big thing. Hmm. I ain't find it. Hmm. I did find, I think, three mobiles, mobile crib mobiles, mobiles. First, I looked on Amazon to get the reviews before I purchased it because this one is $40. And the only thing I don't like about them is they all take batteries, okay? They don't have, like, no USB chargeable ones. So this one takes four C batteries, and it's $40, and it has the most views, like the most purchases, 9000 And then I found this this one, which takes four AA batteries and has only 2000 reviews. Um both of them were really, really good reviews, but a lot of people bought the um, the first one, the Einstein one. And the only thing I don't like about this one is there's this light that projects down onto them, and it starts flashing. So I don't like that. So I think I'm gonna just get the forty dollar one, and just get, it comes with some batteries already. Um, this is some type of uh, this is three in one starry earth. This is thirty dollars. I don't know how this is gonna work for her. So I'm just going to get the fish one because I'm pretty sure she'll like to see that. Like she'll like the fish. And that's the only one I see. And all the other ones on Amazon are like brands that I've never heard of before. And they're like the same price. So for all of that, I'm just going to get this one right here. The um, Einstein one. Because you know Einstein is a good product. Maybe I'll get her a toy too while I'm here because she likes to play with toys now. I don't know what to get her. Oh, she probably would like this. Um... How old you gotta be for this? Six months. Oh, she should. I don't know what to get her that she would like. Oh, maybe some car keys. But she has keys. That's kind of corny. I mean, she plays with some stuff, but not with a lot of stuff. So I don't really know um, what to get her. But I know I'm gonna get that first. So let's just get that first. And I don't know. Okay, so now for the dog food. Um, yeah, because this is the only one I found that I really did like. Um. This is so freaking cute. 
a little visor. Oh my God, Penny would look so adorable in that, but she would not like that on her head. Oh, it's a romper, too freaking cute. Look at that. How much is this? Hold on, guys. This is so cute. It's too hot, though, for this. It's cute, though. Look at this. She would look so effing cute in this. And I love tie-dye. I should get this. It's only $9. Oh, I think I'm going to get this. So I got these two things. Okay. Let me let me just keep going and not get... See what I'm talking about? Mm. They don't still have no Walmart brand just detergent? Oh, come on. I done got everything I needed. Don't need nothing else. Keep it pushing. Roll back. Oh, keep it pushing. April, keep it pushing. So let me tell you how. Ooh, child. I already knew. Remember, I did say that I had a coupon. I think I mentioned that. Um, I had found a coupon. I had a coupon, a value pack deal. You no know, coupons you get in the mail. You can just go on coupon too. But I had a coupon for a value pack deal. For the vents to get clean for $99. Normal price is $200. Well, I already knew. I just, I already knew I had this feeling that the $99 deal would not be sufficient for what I needed. Now, I thought that they cleaned the vents out uh, a couple years ago because I had like a really bad air conditioner leak and they have to constantly come to my house and fix the AC system. And they finally fixed it correctly. They had to take the some of the ceiling out they had to do you know remove the cabinets and get into the wall space because it was wet so you would think that they would vacuum the system out and the vents out because they had to do all of this girl let me just say this um it's it's rough sometimes doing the adult thing yeah damn adulting is like expensive adulting is definitely expensive <laughs> Oh my God, do y'all remember that song? That's the jam. I got in the car and was like, oh shoot, that's my jam. From back in the days, forever. <sighs> Listen, oh my God, it's so effing hot. It is. It looks like it's about to rain. It looks like it's about to rain, okay? And it doesn't even matter if it do or if it don't. It's still gonna be hot outside. It's four o'clock, 4.05, and the heat dial say 118, okay? It say 118. But anyway, so I done got potato at one o'clock, a little bit after one. The guy that had to come and fix the um, kitchen sink, the plumber, he came. But oh my God, you ever try to just be cordial or just not even nice? I don't even know if the word is you just try to be nice to somebody. But, you know, you just try to have mannerism and to, not even entertaining because, dude, I'm not here to entertain you. You're here to fix my sink. You just want to show hospitality, okay? I, I, and I don't even know if that's the right word to use in, in the case of the plumber is coming to fix my sink. 
so I'm just trying to have manners. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Of course, when people come into your home, I don't know about where you guys live, but out here, you should at least offer them a bottle of water because it'd be fucking hot outside. But he was like my age. He was younger than me, okay? Because he told me. He told, but you know how you you um you just want somebody to shut the F up, like STFU, okay? I'm trying to be nice only because you're fixing my sink. And I'm not even trying to be nice because why would I try to be mean? But I'm trying to be engagement, get engaged with you. So that way I don't seem like a rude customer. Okay. I don't want to be, I don't want to come up as a rude customer. Why is he start? Okay. He come in my house. Okay. He already was in my house and then he had to go to his car to get some more supplies. And so I was walking to the front door cause I'm not gonna let you walk throughout my house like that. I, I'm just not, but I was already going in that direction, but I can see you anyway. And, um, so he sees the YouTube plaque on the wall by the door and he's like is that you are you or is this yours and i was like that, that is yes i said yes that's mine and he was like that's the first time i ever seen one of these in person and i was like oh yeah okay well, i mean i really didn't know what to say to that so then he starts talking about how he knew some girl that went to school with his daughter that did youtube and now she does i think she no he didn't even he said she did youtube but then he was talking about her and Okay, first of all, he was Mexican, but he, he looked like he could have been a mixture of Mexican and white, whatever. doesn't even matter. But the, he started talking about um, the girl that he knew, and now she's got a fake butt. And, and I was like, oh, okay. You know, because I didn't really know what to say. He was like, 90% um, of women that are Hispanic, he said. That's how he said it. Have. I was like, yeah, I know. I already know that. Fake butts. Fake. I'm like, so what is the? what are you telling me this for? So this is what I'm trying to get. Like, what you trying? To, what you asking me for? What are you telling me this for? And I was like, Yeah, I know. I've seen them out here. And he was like, This is not a racial thing. This is what he says. This is not a racial thing. I'm not being a racist. Because mind you, he's Hispanic too. He was like, But me, honestly, I only know a black woman having, but you know that aren't fake. And I was like, Yeah, okay. So I, I don't know where he was getting at. Like I was, I'm like. I'm hoping he don't think that I'm supposed to say to him, yeah, because I'm all natural or I don't have no fake butt. Like, because that ain't none of your business. Well, I'm not, I don't even want to engage in this conversation with you. Why are you telling me any of this? What the fuck do I care? Do you think that all YouTubers know one another? Because we don't. Okay, we don't. That girl is younger than me. Okay, she's your daughter's age. And I'm older than you, dude. I don't care. I don't know. T Tati said that he was waiting for me to tell him that I had a real butt. And she thinks he was secretly flirting with me. Now, if you are flirting with me in that manner, honey, you're not getting yourself nowhere. And on top of that, just fix the goddamn sink and leave me the F alone, okay? But anyway, so, yeah, now I'm going to go to the dispensary. That's where I'm going, okay? And if you don't know what the dispensary is, then you don't need me to explain to you, okay? Because you just don't fucking know. But, yeah, look, got my little bang all curled out. Look at that, my natural girl. It's too hot for anybody's lace wig, okay, especially here. Now, I know you honeys want to be cute in the summertime, but, sweethearts, we got to find something else to do. I don't normally go to the dispense until Friday, but they send you notifications of sales. And, yes, they got sales at the dispense, okay? And all in-house products are 50% off, honey. Fifty percent off, okay. Fifty percent off, honey. Yes, yes, bitch. Yes, yes, yes. Fifty percent off, okay. Fifty percent off. We don't like a good sale, even on some dispense. You can get fifty percent off, okay. So <laughs> Friday, I don't need to wait till Friday. I'm gonna go today because they always got a good sale. So today, fifty percent off. Um, at the pre rolls. So I don't even have to roll it myself. And I like those. But everything is 50% off. Everything um, is 50% off. So good sale. Good time. Already put in my order. You can even stand in line. And, but I just put in an online order and just go pick it up.
That is what my heart says That's what my heart says I wanna be with you always You are my world in every place It's a thing Guess who is making the bottle? Nikki back there making the bottle. He done made the bottle for her, right? How nice. He's shaking it with some style. You see how he shake that bottle? <laughs> shake it up with some style. There you go. There you go. That's how you deliver a bottle. To babies. To babies. Is good? Yeah. Look what brother got you. Look, turn around. Look. Oh, she looks she's grabbing it. She's like, yes, I'm grabbing it. I can spit my past shit. I <laughs> <laughs> she loved it. Okay, oh, I'm just going to repeat it again. Go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, now you got to do your dance. That's your dance? That sucks. Oh. <laughs> can you make, can you throw it in? Yeah, I could definitely throw it in. Oh, this is for the baby. Now we got to, we, we're going to have to get her another box. That is what my heart says. This is what my heart says. I wanna be with you always. Always, yeah. You are my world in every place. Oh, it's the things I do, do. It's the things you do, baby. It's the smile on your face. Smile on your face. And it's time goes by. Is it just me or? Like if your appointment was at 9.15 and it's it's not really that late, it's 9.30, but people that came after you, why are they calling them in first, right? I'm not really sure, but I hope she didn't forget that we were sitting. Please tell me why they forgot about us. I had to go up there and say something. They left us on green, which means that they didn't check us in. You don't get called until he's on blue. And that's what I was just told. Like. There was like five, six people that came in after me, way after me, and and I was the only person still sitting in the waiting area. So you're like, y'all forgot about me? I was so, t it's too hot for the foolishness, really. I hope she don't have to get a bunch of needles, right? See, no, no. See, I had to take my clothes off, guys, because it's time for the checkup. Yeah. She's gonna get two needles and one oral vaccine for today. Look at you, little chubster. Yeah. That's what you call a swoop bang on a baby. A swoop bang on a baby, right? A swoop bang, swoop, swoop bang. So we just wait in for them to come back with the doctor and to just like check her over again. And then the nurse will come back and give her the needles. Yeah. So I came in here to get some meat. Um, just a couple of meats. I think I'm gonna make um chicken with tortillas tonight. I think I'm gonna make that. Um, like some shredded chicken. And uh, I'm going to get some, 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 like, some steaks from here, what have you. Why is my bang, like, all over the place, okay? I'm trying to look cute, my little natural bang. Um, they meat prices stay the same. Like, look, guys, you can get, like, a, it was, like, skimping a little bit on the meat, though. But the prices stay the same. I don't know. That could just be me. But, like, you get a decent amount, like, look, what you can get for $20. Taco box. Beef, chicken, and pork tacos. You can get that for 20 bucks in this big box. That's the beef, chicken, and pork. It's also $20. You get in pork loin, pork chops, drumsticks, some other kind of beef, and some um, hamburger meat. 
and this is a decent this is decent because in here there is one two three four five six it's either six or seven of these and it gives a price for each one so three dollars and 95 cents for five nice pieces of drumsticks is not bad at all so you know this is a good thing What? I should have came here instead. These was twenty dollars at freaking Wal at Target, not Target at Sam's Club. Eight dollars. Wow. Yesterday when I was at Sam's Club, I bought the pork chops there, and it came with like 18, 16 pork chops, something like that. Comes with sixteen pork chops. So it's almost like a dollar a pork chop or something. To me because it was like 18 19 20 i think i spent 21 dollars on those pork chops and here same exact pork chops same thickness everything and that was eight dollars for the same amount like i don't know why i bought them from sam's club because i've gotten them there before because they're better priced than kroger's but i like i said i'll just come here from now on and get my meats like some of the meat here you do have to um i don't know about you guys but i don't like a lot of fat on my chicken so i clean the chicken some people don't clean their chicken and that's not me like i gotta clean my chicken so you know what i'm noticing though it all depends on what it is because these boneless skinless chicken breast fillets here for a pack of one two three four five six like like these it's twenty dollars and at Sam's Club, it's like 16 So I guess it all depends on what it is. So I'm wondering why those pork chops were so cheap over there. You know what I mean? Maybe I, maybe I dodged a bullet for that. Because for 16 pork chops, $8, that's like 50 cents a pork chop, which is, I don't know if that's bad or good, but um, you guys be the judge of that. Juneteenth. 
June 19th Freedom Day head wrap. Okay, it was cute. <laughs> we don't need Juneteenth head wraps, but okay. Oh, they even got pride, love, one piece headband. Okay, I've seen enough. Here we are, we're in the movies, right? We about to go see, we see in Jurassic Park, we on a date. I be having all these great dates with my kids. Best dates ever. We're having a good time, right? These, these are the best dates. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. What? Me and Tati liked the movie. It was good, right, Tati? I'm a Jurassic Park fan, so it was really nice to see like the original people from the first one in, in this one here. It was really good to see them. Even though, you know, it's probably like six movies later, it was a good movie. Tinky, you couldn't have been scared. I seen you jump up one time. Now we're gonna go to him. You, it was just, it's the, um, when you and him both did get scared together, jumped. right? Yeah, because it just came out of the just came out of nowhere. That was good. I liked yeah. it. That was real good. I, I thought you said it was two and a half hours. That was two and a half. We got there at eleven fifty five. Oh wow. Damn, time goes by quick. It didn't feel like it. Where you wanna eat at? We don't care. Popeyes. Um, Raisin Kings. Oh, I did what you said. Raisin Kings. Oh, I know. I, I was. I know. Accident. I heard you. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of it. It just came out almost. I heard you. He would have caught on to it anyway. What is that? Is, oh, is that that? Yeah, I saw them. What is that? Is that where you got to find how yeah. to get out of the room? Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look very big though. Same thing. I don't care. I don't mind. It doesn't matter to me. We had such a great time. We went to eat. We went to Five Below. We came home and got the baby. And now we're here. Bro, it's 113 degrees outside. Don't nobody want to be up here for too long. Y'all see, look, I put my neck fan on even in the house because the girl have hot flashes. And now we sit down here relaxing. I'm making some steak fajitas because I, I actually I forgot to take the steak and put it in the freezer for the past couple of days. So it was like you either going to cook it now or let it go to waste so i decided to cut it really thin and make fajita steak out of it instead of a steak roast like it was supposed to be so i'm cooking that now sitting here watching the show on hulu that i accidentally stumbled across pancake penny i know you hear me talking to you pancake penny pancake penny Mom, see? No. I don't want to be on here. See, Nate says hi. Hi, Penny. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like a little. It's 113 degrees outside today. I don't want to go nowhere. I said to Tati, I ain't never leaving the house again until like the end of October. What, that's too long? You, you can go. You're younger. What makes you think I want to go? You're young. It's still hot. You're young. It's still hot, though. 
Young people don't mind the heat. Yeah, no. You guys are young. Yes, we do. I think young people don't mind the heat just because older people. They young. They, you know, young kids. Little kids love to go outside and play in the fucking heat, or it's cold. They don't know no better. She only twenty. She good with the heat. I've been, I've been in this heat for forty eight years. She, I earned my time out the heat. It's not even the same heat you've been in all your life. How do you know that? You don't know about what the heat I've been in. She don't know nothing about what the heat I've been in. How you speak for yourself, girlfriend? Shit, you don't know nothing about the heat I've been in. I don't think Queens heat is anything like that. You don't know nothing about New York City heat. She don't know nothing about New York City heat. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. Wow. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, I told you I'm moving. I'm not staying here no more. I'm leaving. I can't take this no more. I had enough. No, it ain't. I told you what I told you. I was moving to Virginia. And look, I just seen that on the thing. The 10 cheapest places in America to live. And West Virginia was one of them. Missouri, Mississippi. But I'm going to Virginia. I said that. I'm out. Of course, Penny's going. Pancake. Swimwear. She they like swimwear. Yes. 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 Penny is always there. Well, we didn't get to go to the movie today. Oh my god, that movie was so bomb, you guys. For real. It was so nice. Like I was saying earlier, it was so nice to see like the OGs of Jurassic Park in that movie. Like it really, really was. I seen this girl or something before. This girl right here, her. It was really, really nice to see them in um the movie. And it comes out for stream or, or, or purchase on the 14th, girls buying it because I have every single Jurassic Park movie. Well, they're on DVD, but I'm a huge fan of Jurassic Park, so I will be um, purchasing that one to watch over and over again. But me, Mom, me, Tinky, and Tati had like a really good time at the movie. Didn't we ate popcorn, drank juice, slushies, went to lunch, went to the store. Really good movie. Had fun. You know, that movie, really good movie. If, you, if you're a lover of Jurassic Park, Plus, you know, as a kid, I love dinosaurs. I used to study everything about dinosaurs, so I enjoyed the movie a lot. And like I said, it was really nice to see all the original actors and actresses from the first one and this one back together. That made the movie even better. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to watch this show. looks pretty decent. looks pretty decent, but I'll let y'all go, and I will see y'all on the next one. Say bye, Panty Pan. Goodbye. Say bye, Nancy. Bye. 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 B